Hi, this is James from tracyandmat.co.uk and from boxings.com and I'm here again with, this time, another Blackberry Bold 9900. Uh, those of you that follow the site would have seen we did, we did a, uh, a demo video, a hands-on demo video a couple of weeks ago with the, uh, uh, the Blackberry Bold 9900. And that particular device didn't come from uh, Research in Motion, but this one does and as you can see it's boxed um, pretty much as uh, you would find in the shops and, uh, and retailers. So. Uh, what we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do a little unboxing video here. Some of the stuff may have been covered on the first video, uh, but we'll keep this one fairly, uh, fairly short and sweet, just so we can sort of see what you get with the, uh, the BlackBerry. And uh, um, this particular device has actually got uh, uh, final ROM, which is uh, carrier approved, unlike our uh, initial one that we had first off. So uh, this is the, the, the final version. So uh, let's jump in and, uh, and have a look and see what we get inside. So if we take the uh, the lid off, we have the device on top. We'll come to that in just a moment. Okay, first up we have, it looks like it's probably some paperwork. Oh, oh there's lots of stuff in here. Okay, so first off we have uh, a cleaning cloth. Then have a couple of uh, little booklets and a, is a sort of a, a quick start guide to the Blackberry Roll 9900 and 9930. Obviously, the uh, the 9930 is the uh, the CDMA version for in America. Safety and product information. Some instructions to uh, use the Blackberry in connection with the Blackberry desktop software and. Uh, also some details about uh, the, the BlackBerry being uh, NFC enabled. Warranty details. And finally, inside your new smartphone beats the heart of a dragon. It's just a, a little leaflet from Qualcomm just for, relating to the, uh, the processor. Next up we have some headphones. So on one end we obviously have the uh, actual jack itself. In the middle we have um, there's a little clip there, and on the other end obviously we have the, the headphones. These don't actually feel uh, they don't feel the, the best quality, but uh, we'll test them out anyway. Uh, no, there's, um, there's 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 no actual sort of uh, button or controls for. Uh, um, turning the volume up and down, that sort of thing. Uh, next up, <coughs> on the left hand side, we have. Oh, this is a two pin plug, which doesn't really apply to us. Sync charge cable, obviously, uh, as always, this is uh, USB to micro USB. Good news, we get a pouch. Let's have a look at this. So it's fairly similar in design to, uh, to, to that we have with the Blackberry Torch. Uh, obviously on the back we've got the uh, little Blackberry logo and the, the word Blackberry and on, on the front we've got the uh, just the BlackBerry logo, obviously this will uh, keep the BlackBerry uh, scratch free if you're sticking it in your pocket or a, or a handbag, that sort of thing. I personally don't carry a handbag, but you ladies may well do. So it's quite a tight fit, that will uh, that will loosen up in time. Um, that's about it. What is strange, I didn't get a UK plug with this one, but not to worry, I've got uh, many of them laying around. So that's what's in the box. Um, let's just uh, grab the device, take the uh, protection stickers off. I think what we'll do first off is I'm actually going to kind of stick a SIM card in here. So before we do that, obviously we've, we've, we've got the battery there, uh, and then as you can see, um, the SIM 
it slots in like so and the, uh, the micro SD actually goes up here there's not one present in this device but I would imagine we'll probably get one when you buy one in the shops uh, although the, uh, the, the the Blackberry 9900 you have to remember does have uh, 8 gigabytes of uh, internal storage which is rather good news so what we'll do now is we'll have a have a quick look around the device. Uh, as I say, we did cover this on the initial demo video, but we'll, uh, we'll do it again very quickly for you now, if, in case you didn't see the first video, just while it boots up. Um, okay, so on the left-hand side, we have the 3.5mm uh, headset port there. Below that, we have the USB port. Over on the right-hand side, we have a convenience key at the bottom here. And then we have the up-down media controls, and there's also an extra one now on the 9900, which is used for uh, play and pause during uh, videos, that sort of thing. On the bottom we have a couple of uh, connectors which, is, which will be used in, in connection with using a, a, a dock and over on the top we just have the, the one sort of power button that uh, turns the screen on and off. Over on the back we have the uh, camera lens on one side and the flash on the other um, with the bold insignia there and obviously the, the shiny black logo and uh, as you would have seen if you saw the first video we get a new back cover here with the uh, the 9900 it's uh, it's not the sort of uh, uh, the leather feel one this one is uh, very shiny very it's obviously plastic and uh, um, it actually does feel very much like the, uh, the the back of the iPhone 4 believe it or not although it's uh, I don't think it's, it's obviously not glass and then over on the front we obviously have the uh, traditional BlackBerry keyboard which is a little bit bigger than we've seen before. At the top we have a speaker grill, sensors, um, under the screen obviously we have the call send and end keys, we have the uh, the, the BlackBerry key, the back key and the, the optical trackpad but the real beauty here is you don't have to use the trackpad because the device is got a capacitive touch screen which is uh, rather lovely. So well, I, I, we might, I know I've done this before, but we'll have a quick run through of, of, of what you get on the device. Um, obviously, we've got the messaging application, we've got the uh, SMS contacts, which obviously I'm not going to have any on the on there yet. We have the, uh, the the web browser, which uh, I don't think I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get this to work just yet. Google and see if we can. I uh, don't oh know, can't get it because I haven't done a device switch to it yet. Um, we have uh, media, so we've obviously got music. Uh, we've got one demo one on here. And as I said, you can use the uh, the middle key here to, to actually pause the track if you if you need to. pictures and as you can see here the uh, the 1.2 gigahertz processor really does a great job because swiping between screens is uh, is pretty much instant and obviously we can, uh, we can we can pinch the zoom as well great improvement for a blackberry video Looks pretty good. Obviously, watching video on the uh, on a BlackBerry has, has, has never been the best experience due to the screen size. But because the screen's a little bit bigger now on the 9900, it's uh, it just makes it a, a, a little bit more enjoyable. And um, we've got the calendar, telephone. We've obviously got BlackBerry Messenger, although that's not set up. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you do have to put in your your, your BlackBerry ID if you haven't uh, already got one. It only takes two minutes to to set one up. We've got the clock application. Um, we've got the, the camera interface, which uh, is fairly straightforward, like so. Does a pretty good job. 
Um, we've got Black React World, which um, it's not actually going to work at the moment. And it looks like this has got, uh, yeah, there is actually a uh, in beta now, Black React World 3.0, which looks a lot different to this. So, uh, um, But we have a separate post on that on the website. YouTube, which uh, isn't actually an application, it's, uh, it either lets you upload a video or it takes you to the mobile site. Um, social feeds, which uh, again we first saw on the, uh, the, the BlackBerry Torch. We have uh, Facebook and Twitter, the uh, BlackBerry native apps which uh, are preloaded on the device, which is good news. Obviously we have our instant messaging clients, the, uh, the ones preloaded on Windows Live Messenger, Yahoo Messenger and Google Talk. We then have some applications and uh, we get a couple of new things in here. Uh, documents to go, which uh, would allow you to not only view and uh, view in Word, Excel, those sort of things, but you can actually uh, create them from the, the ground up and amend the fonts and everything like that, which is pretty good. Um, we have a compass, which uh, we haven't had before on a BlackBerry. Uh, not something I personally use very often, but you never know when you might get lost in some woods or something. Um, smart tags, which relates to the uh, near field communications. We have BlackBerry Protect preloaded on here. And uh, if you can't use a BlackBerry, you'll notice that the, uh, the BlackBerry Protect logo is now a different colour. It was black, it's now kind of a, a yellowy gold, which is, uh, which is nice. Um, we have games, we only have two preloaded, which is Brick Breaker and uh, World Mole. Um, options, setup, which is, uh, if it's your first BlackBerry, this will sort of guide you through um, setting up things for the first time. It's very user friendly. We have our uh, sound controls. Manage connections, where we can turn on and off and uh, connect to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, that sort of thing. We have a, a, a help section, which isn't going to work because I haven't got the internet access. And we have a power key, which will uh, allow you to turn it off. And obviously, uh, we, we can swipe the panes. So we've got favourites, media, downloads and uh, frequents. But another thing that's new here to the 9900 and uh, using BlackBerry 7 is that we can uh, we can actually disable these panes if we want to um, we can have as as many or as little of them uh, uh, present as we as we would like um, the other thing on the the, the home screen that's uh, quite impressive about is universal search and there's, there's a new something new to it here and that is um, I don't know if you can see the logo though we have the option to do it by voice so uh, as well as just typing Let's test, uh, oh I don't think it's going to work if I've got no internet, it probably won't work. No, that's too bad. Anyway, there's a demo of that on our, our first video. So, um, that pretty much wraps up the uh, the unboxing video. As I said, uh, I've kept it sort of pretty uh, short and sweet due to us doing one video already. Um, that's a lot more in depth. If you haven't checked it out, I'll put a link in the... Uh, in the notes to this video um, and uh, by the time you see this video um, our full review of the Blackbeard Old 9900 will actually be on the site as well so uh, if you're interested in picking up the uh, the, the new Blackbeard Bulb check out the video it's fairly in depth and uh, um, you'll see exactly what I think of this, uh, this wonderful new device and in, in the meantime thanks for watching